What's up guys? Welcome to Style Duty Journey. My name is Ronnie Andabwa. Now, are you a gentleman who is just trying to increase your level of prowess when it comes to styling your outfit? Or are you that person who's just trying to embellish your style in order for you to look more elegant, more classy, more stylish? Well, there are a few tiny mistakes that we make and once we avoid these mistakes, we're going to reach our main objective. On today's video, I'm talking about style mistakes that we should avoid as gentlemen. Without further ado, let's get to the video. Now onto the first mistake that we should avoid. We should avoid not knowing how to mix and match. And here I'm going to give you three main ideas, three main concepts that you need to put in your mind anytime you're thinking about mixing and matching your outfits. And with these concepts, we are going to use the color wheel. So onto the first concept, it's all about going monochromatic. What is monochromatic? Monochromatic is wearing a lighter and a darker shade of the same color. Let's say you're wearing an outfit with all gray, but this time round, you're having a lighter gray on top and a darker gray at the bottom. That is very easy. Second concept is going contemporary. Contemporary is when you mix colors that are directly opposite each other on the colorway. For example, mixing red and green. That is a nice contrast that is going to look good in all your outfits, all right? Now onto the third concept, this is analogous. This is mixing and matching colors that are neighbors on the colorway. For example, you have a red, orange, and peach. They can contrast perfectly in your outfits when you're trying to mix these colors because they're neighbors on the colorway, all right? Those are the three concepts that you need to keep in mind when you're trying to mix and match your outfits. Now onto the second mistake that we guys should avoid. I'm sure this mistake has been done by almost everyone. But you know what we learn from our mistakes? This is wearing too much cologne. The thing with wearing too much cologne is it turns a lot of people off. You think that you're trying to impress them, but no. Too much of anything is poisonous and too much of cologne can be hmm, very irritating, very obnoxious. All right. So the thing about applying cologne is less is more all right and we take and we apply cologne right after taking a shower all right so that is the key rule when it comes to applying cologne number one less is more and applying cologne straight right off the shower and the third thing is you need to apply cologne directly on your skin not on your clothes that is how we destroy that is how we stain our outfits by applying cologne directly to our clothes and not on your direct skin so Thing you need to keep in mind make sure that your cologne is applied directly on your skin so places to apply cologne are on your lower jaw number one number two on your neck number three on your wrist and number four on your forearm so those are the four main places that you need to apply cologne all right and if you're smelling it then you've worn too much cologne all right now onto the third style mistake that we should avoid this is wearing the wrong sunglasses and i know this comes with the pressure of you trying to look as classy, as elegant, as unique, as fashionable as your influencer. But we fail to understand that different glasses are fitted for different facial shapes. And I'm going to teach you that today, All right? So number one, if you have an oval shaped face, you can wear any type of sunglasses as long as they have rounded frames. For example, the aviators are nice glasses that can fit your face and also the fairers and also contemporary sunglasses. These are nice glasses that can fit your face perfectly. All right. So that goes for the oval shaped type of face. If your face is rounded, please try and select geometrically shaped glasses so that they can counteract the roundedness of your shape. So if you have a squared type of shape, stick with any pair that has nice gentle curves in order for it to complement your broad and chiseled jawline. Now, if you have an oblong face, pick nice large frames that have concise lines in order for them to help shape some features on your face, if that makes sense, all right? And finally, if you have a heart-shaped face, focus on rimless or a semi-rimless type of sunglasses that point their attention downwards, all right? That's easy. Now that brings me to the end of today's video. That's easy. I hope you've learned a tip or two when it comes to what type of glasses, to what type of sunglasses to wear. All right. And with these three 
ideas i'm sure you're going to avoid such mistakes and your level of progress when it comes to being a stylist is going to level up and level up and level up now that brings me to the end of today's video guys if this video has helped you out one way or another please make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure you share it to a friend or two subscribe if you have not and uh, until i see you next time peace